mind that there are some real fears to contend as a traveler. How can you navigate the fears without letting those fears keep you at home? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, so there is a website. I want to say it's called Numbeo, N-U-M-B-E-O. I'm not positive. Uh, I'm sure we can Google it and you can put it in your, uh, in your show notes. But um, it allows you to compare two cities to each other directly in terms of crime rates, governmental corruption, violence against women, blah, blah, blah. Um, and many, many, many American cities are more dangerous than international cities. Um, so even even cities that you might think about, like I'm sure that there are people who are listening who are like, ooh, Bangkok, ugh. Um, the, the crime rate of Bangkok is not higher than the crime rate of Minneapolis. Um, which is not to say, and I'm not saying this try, to try and make people be afraid of American cities, um, but I think it's, I think that in our concerns about international safety, um, we sort of fail to realize that if you live in a major American city, the crime rate of the international city that you're going to is is, is honestly maybe lower. Um, so I think just for me, just knowing those statistics is is a really good reality check. And also for what it's worth, I am a blonde woman, I've, which I say because I stick out very obviously in you know, like 90% of countries, if I'm outside of Western Europe, I'm very visibly not from there. Um, I've traveled to 35 countries, many of them developing, often by myself, and I have never had any serious trouble. I've never been mugged. You know, like the worst I've encountered is like low key street harassment, um, which honestly also happens in Minneapolis. <laughs> um, so I would say like, if I can do it, anybody listening can absolutely do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just thinking that a lot of the crime that actually happens, actually, I was talking to, to Seth Kugel for an episode. I'm not sure if it's going to run before this or after it. He's the, he's the, the New York Times frugal traveler. He says that the actual dangerous things that happen to travels are, are rental vehicle accidents and, and swimming accidents, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think as far as, you know, there's harassment, there's certain harassments that's, that's specific to women, but then there's also literally in the place where you're the safest, you're also at the most risk. So you're like, you're in the tourist zone around the tourist attraction. You're going to be at the Eiffel Tower, but that's mm -hmm. also where pickpockets probably um, prey on tourists yeah. because that's where tourists are, you know? Yeah. And, and nobody, yeah. and pickpocketing is, is not necessarily a dangerous crime. It's just that there's, there's certain things that calibrate themselves to tourist zones, which tend to be yeah. safe, but there's these annoyances. It's, it's tourist zones are where the scam artists are going to be and the, and mm -hmm. the, the souvenir vendors and the guy who pretends to be your friend, but is really going to his uncle's souvenir yeah. shop.